4.2, the mean value theorem. Rolle's theorem. Let f be a function that satisfies the following three hypotheses. f is continuous on the closed interval, a, b, it is differentiable on the open interval, a, b, and f of a is equal to f of b. Then there is a number c in a, comma, b, such that f of uh, the derivative of c equals zero. Remember, f prime of c equals zero. That means the slope of the tangent line to the curve at c is zero. The tangent line is horizontal. So example one, verify that the function below satisfies the three hypotheses of Rolle's theorem on the given interval. Then find all such numbers c that satisfy the conclusion of Rolle's theorem. So here we go. f of x equals x cubed minus 3x squared plus 2x plus 5 on 0 and 2. So I'm going to satisfy the three things. f is continuous on the closed interval. Yep, check, continuous. f is differentiable. Yes, the derivative is 3x squared minus 6x plus 2. And f of a, f of a equals f of b. As you can see below, if we plug in 0, we get 5. If we plug in 2, we also get 5. The mean value theorem. Let f be a function such that f is continuous on the closed interval a, b. It is differentiable on the open interval a, b. Then there is a number c in a, b such that f of b minus f of a divided by b minus a equals the derivative of c. This equation could also be written as f of b minus f of a equals f prime of c times b minus a. The theorem basically means that there's a point on the curve between a and b whose tangent line has the same slope as the slope of the secant line through points a. So these are two possible c's. They, the tangent line has the same slope and it is between these points. Example two, verify that the function below satisfies the hypothesis of the mean value theorem on the given interval, then find all numbers C that satisfy the conclusion of the MVT. So here's this. We know that F of two minus F of zero equals F prime of C two minus zero. Therefore, we also know F of two equals six and F of zero equals zero. And F prime of X equals three X squared minus 1. So 6 equals 3c squared minus 1 times 2 which means 6c squared minus 2. Now there are some other theorems that are mentioned here. The mean value theorem can be used to establish some of the basic facts of differential calculus like the theorem below. If f prime of x equals 0 for all x in an interval a b then f is constant on a b. And there's also a corollary. If f prime of x equals g prime of x for all x in an interval a, b, then f minus g is constant on a, b. That is, f of x equals g of x plus c, where c is constant. All right, now you need to do your web assignment.